Welcome to Mimi Math. Today we're going to look at how to write algebraic expressions. This is one of the more difficult concepts that students run into. Okay, first of all, you need to know your keywords and how those translate in, from English to math language. And here are three examples. Now before we jump into these examples, I'm going to zoom in and go over some of our key words. So here we go. I've got a list of them and these are also on our website. So when you have the keywords increased by, more than, combined, together, total, some are added to, you're going to make that into an addition statement. If you have the keywords decreased by, minus, less, difference of or between, less than, fewer than, you're going to use subtraction. Um, if you have in the word problem of, of is very, very common, times multiplied product of, increased by a factor of, you will use multiplication. And if you see these keywords per, a, uh, out of, ratio, quotient, percent, percent is always divided by 100, by the way, you will use division. And then some keywords for um, an equal sign when you were actually writing an algebraic equation would be is, are, was, were, and notice those are all to be verbs, gives, yields, and sold for. And that will be an equal sign. Okay, so let's go back using our keywords to our examples. Now I need to zoom back out so you can see this. Okay, here we are. So now we have the sum of five and x. So what's the sum? Well, sum on our keywords is addition. So I know I'm going to add these two together. So I'm just going to add 5 and x. And order doesn't matter with addition. So I can write it as 5 plus x or x plus 5. Now that's not true with subtraction. So let's look at the second one. 5 less than a number. Okay, less than, if I go to my um, keywords, less means I'm going to subtract. But you have to be careful. The than actually reverses in order how this is written. So I'm going to take a number, which I don't know the number, so that's my variable, and it's going to be written first. Then I'm going to subtract the 5. So this expression is actually x let minus 5 rather than 5 minus x, and that's because of the word than. The than reverses these positions. Okay, and the last one is 24 per 3 acres. And per means division. So I'm going to have 24 divided by 3. And that's how I would write that expression. Okay, this, this is just one video and I'm going to go through some more in a second video. So look at, for part 2 if you need a little more help. Good luck!